This is how you get your Android device to use text-to-speech, allowing it to read any page out loud to you. To start off, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store, and then go to the search bar and search for something called Accessibility Suites. As you can see right here, so you're going to want to go ahead and install this app. You'll know you have the right one if it's made by Google LLC. And this will actually download very quickly as it only takes around 12 megabytes. So it should finish downloading very quickly. Once that is done downloading, what you're going to want to do is scroll down from the top of your screen and then in the upper right hand corner, click on the settings icon. Once you're in settings, you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down until you find accessibility and you're going to want to go ahead and click on that. Then near the bottom of this page, there's something called installed apps and you're going to want to go ahead and click on that. Now on this page, there are several options, but what you're going to want to do is choose the one called select to speak. It will take you to this page where you'll then want to toggle the switch to on, where it will then ask you to allow it to have full access over your phone. This is necessary so that it can actually see what's on your screen and read it to you. Luckily, because this software is made by Google, you don't have to worry about it trying to do anything malicious with this kind of access. It will then give you several options for shortcuts on how to actually activate this feature while you're using your phone. Go ahead and select whatever one you think would be best for you. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and try it out. But I should let you know there's two ways of doing this. If you're in Google Chrome, all you have to do is select the text you want it to read to you, and then click on the three little dots, and select the option called the Read Aloud to get PS access to line. this feature. However, if you're using a different application, maybe something like text messages or email, you will have to go ahead and use the shortcut option by pulling up the menu and then tapping the text you want it to read to you. When you do launch the shortcut, you also have the options to expand this menu and go into settings. Here you can change settings on how fast you want it to read things to you or even the type of voice. It also has some other options you can turn on such as read text on images or read in the background. You of course can choose whatever options you want to turn on, however I would probably suggest turning on the reading in the background option.